Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel and today we're going to be taking a look at all the best guns in Warzone Season 4 right now. After the recent update that has just came out, we're going to be showing you guys all the best metas, all the best AR snipers, SMGs, all that kind of good stuff. I'm running through the best guns that you guys should really be using to really start bettering your game, have a better chance of getting high kill games and just really start slapping people in the dance. Quick before we do jump into the video guys, if you aren't around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. Don't miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy the video, smash the big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on these class apps in the comments below. Also, if you think I've missed any guns, let me know which gun it is in the comments. Add the attachments you guys think should be ran with it. I'll try it out. And if I think that should be added to the list, I'll do an updated version of this video and then add that one in as well. So hopefully you guys have got some more suggestions. Like I say, leave them in the comments below for me to try out as well. But I'm gonna jump straight into it, show you the best class apps to run. I will show you all the attachments on each gun and why you should be using them and just sort of where they do fit in. But I'm gonna jump straight into it right now. So guys, the first class up we are gonna take a look at is gonna be the LC10. And the LC10 is one of my favorite SMGs within Warzone. I think it is one of the best guns. It's got such good mobility. It literally has the mobility of the MAC-10 when it when that was really good. It's got the fire rate of like the MAC-10 when that was really good. It's got the times kill of the MAC-10 when that was really good. So it's basically just the MAC-10 now that's just a bit more broken. It just feels very good. It's very mobile. It's got great time to kill. It's got good damage range. It's got no recall. Just everything about this LC-10 makes it one of the best SMGs in the game. You'd have seen it if you watched my LC-10 class out video where I dropped the hater of a game with it. We we're playing a normal war zone. We dropped like 29 kills with this one gun in particular, and then about 10 on top of that with the AMAX. And just together they were absolutely unreal together. So we'll definitely definitely recommend you using this LC10 class because it's just so good. It's got such good mobility for an SMG and like I said, the time to kill on it and even the damage range on it is pretty good as well so if you get caught at mid range with this out, you can still also win the gunfights because there's no recall and it's just very easy to control or hit those long shots and just be able to get a good effect of damage range as well so makes it really good but with the laser and everything else and the no stock, obviously like I said that mobility, sprint the far time, the sprint speed just getting around the map and positioning yourself is so so easy with this LC10 class out because of the attachments that are on it and I genuinely think if you've not tried out the LC10 before, you definitely want to go and give it a go so next up guys we're going to take another look at an smg and it's going to be the cold war mp5 again a very good smg you'll see the likes of aiden rated jukies lennon all the big players in the competitive scene using this mp5 build just because of how good it is again it's got really good mobility on the gun it's very easy to position yourself get around the map get in those good positions and just to get an advantage point on your enemies with this smg but the other thing with it guys it's just the time to kill on it the damage range the just how good this gun is in general in terms of damage and how quick the time to kill is and how quickly you can kill people people it's genuinely insane obviously this mp5 has got the agency suppressor the tiger team spotlight for that added movement the suppressor obviously adds some recoil control takes you off the radar the radar stocks will increase that movement speed to print the fire time uh, the 50 round drums a lot of bullets in the gun and the serpent wrap for that better ads speed obviously if you guys do have this uh, mp5 class or this mp5 blueprint it does have the cooler sight where it's like half the circle rather than the full circle and it's just a nice clean sight it takes a lot of the screen it takes away from the, a lot of the screen being covered makes you able to see a lot more but like i said a lot of the big dogs in the competitive scene that are winning wages tournaments all the time are using this cold war mp5 class out at the moment i definitely recommend you give this a go along with the lc10 just try and find out which smg you prefer out of the pair of them in my opinion i prefer the lc10 but this mp5 is still unbelievably good it's insane a lot of people are getting absolutely gunned down by this mp5 because there's not a lot that beats it at close range so next up guys i just have a look at one for you guys like to snipe in the game we're going to take a look at the swiss k31 and this is the class out for it. it's so 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 fun this is the most fun gun i've used in a long time in warzone i'm really enjoying it it's literally a hit scan there is no bullet drop on this sniper it's gonna be the sound moderator the 24.9 in combat recon the swap 5 milliwatt laser the fast mag and the airborne elastic wrap it's got an insane ads speed like one of the fastest ads speeds i've ever seen on a sniper in any call of duty game ever it's got the accuracy of just any anything like you can Cannot, you can't miss with this gun as long as your reticle is lined up where you want to hit them that's where the bullet's going to hit him. It doesn't matter how far away you're shooting. There is no bullet drop on this gun. So if you are aiming for a headshot, you might want to aim maybe a centimeter above their head. And that will definitely hit their headshot. But this thing just doesn't move. Like the, the bullet velocity on this gun is so, so good. The bullets do not drop off at all. The time to kill is obviously crazy. Wherever you are shooting from, one shot to the head, two shots to the, well, one shot to the chest. And then one shot to the rest of the body. And then two, two or three shots to the legs and arms. But this gun is absolutely insane. It's so, so much fun to use. And like I said, if you guys enjoy sniping, I would definitely recommend you pull this gun out. Go and level it up if you haven't already in Cold War. Go and try it out. It's just so fun to use, guys. You'll genuinely enjoy yourself using this gun. Just like I said, the ADS speed, the bullet velocity, the time to kill, just everything on this gun is so much fun. In my opinion, it's better than the car. It's better than the SP. 
FPR. It's better than the X50, better than the HDR, better than any other sniper we have within Warzone at the moment. And it is just genuinely so much fun to use. So I highly recommend you give this a go. So here's one that not a lot of people are using at the moment, but the Amex. The Amex is still very, very good. I don't know why people aren't using it as much. I know obviously it's got it nerfed and it has got a bit more recoil now. And it's not quite got that damage that it did have, but it's still very good, guys. Up close and mid-range, this thing will absolutely fry anyone. At long range, it, has, it is a little bit harder than what it used to be because of that added recoil control. And there is a little bit less damage. So it does take a little bit longer. You need to hit some more shots with some extra recoil, if that makes sense. So it is a little bit more tricky at long range. But if you can grasp it, if you can get used to the recoil again, you guys are going to slap with the Amex. Don't sleep on it. A lot of people are now because obviously you've got the Farah, you've got the Krig, you've got these other guns that are a little bit better than it may be. But the Amex is just a very, very good gun that I think a lot of you guys should be using. And I can't believe a lot more people aren't actually using it at the moment. So in terms of another AR, guys, we are going to go for the XM4. It's a, it's a very, very good gun. I'm hearing people compare it to the Amex and how the Amex used to feel. It's not got a lot of recoil at all. The damage range on it is absolutely crazy. The X1 three times obviously has a T-post site now, so that's nice and clean. But I can't believe how many people still aren't using this XM4 AR build. I know a lot of people using it as SMGs, but you need to try it out with an AR, guys. This is the class out for it, and it's absolutely insane. So it's such a good time to kill. Like I said, there's no recoil on the gun. Very, very easy to hit your shots at all kinds of distances. It Obviously, we know it's good up close because people are using it as an SMG, and it still slaps up close. If you get caught up close with it, you can still use it as an SMG. But you can also use it as an AR as well, and it's going to absolutely beam people from all kinds of distances, which is just what makes this gun all round so good. It doesn't matter what sort of situation you You've got the gun out in it's gonna slap people it's gonna do what it needs to do and it is gonna pick up you some easy kills so guys the last ar that i'm gonna show you guys to use is gonna be the far it's an absolutely wild gun to use obviously it did just get a recent nerf which sort of now isn't it's not as good as it was because it literally had no recoil it was literally just so easy to use it was a laser beam it was one of the easiest guns to use however after this recent nerf there's still not a lot of recoil and it. it's still very very easy to control especially if you're a player that knows what they're doing within the game and you control the, the recoil of guns anywhere you're gonna be absolutely slapped with this gun but here it is on screen right now obviously the gru suppressor spetsnaz rpk barrel x arms three times the spetsnaz grip and the 60 round mags definitely would recommend giving this a go as well guys if you like your Amex and you like the far give these a go just see what you do prefer obviously the xm4 in there as well is a lot of fun to use out of them all at the moment i'm preferring the xm4 it's one of my favorite guns in the game right now i'll probably say xm4 uh far rather than Amex because of the Amex is recoil it's just a little bit too hard to control at long range whereas the xm4 and the far will absolutely slap people at all kinds of distances so it's that's what makes them just have that little bit of an edge on the Amex but like i said the Amex is still very very good if you guys do love the Amex but here is the class up for the far recommend you do give it a go as I said, it did get a nerf for a little bit more recoil. It's not too noticeable, very easy to control, and just the time to kill on this gun is absolutely insane. It's pretty much still a laser because of the recoil, and it's just a very easy gun to use, guys. So if you're not even great at the game and you're looking for a gun that's going to maybe help you improve and just improve your aim, and just maybe because you're not too good at controlling recoil, go with this or the XM4, and you guys will probably have a lot of fun and absolutely start frying people. And the final gun that we're actually going to take a look at in this video today, guys, is going to be the Milano. Obviously, the Milano's got a lot of hype around it. A lot of people keep bigging up the Milano, and a lot of people genuinely do love this gun. So, guys, when it comes to the Milano, there are two variants you can use. You've got this one here, which is a pure SMG build. Crazy time to kill, crazy up close, and that's why a lot of people are loving this gun. It's just very, very good. It's very powerful. It's got great damage. It's got really good time to kill. However, you can also try this class out here. So, this is the class out that you can also use, guys, which is actually an AR build for the Milano. Crazy, right? The AR build for an SMG makes no sense. You can see why you could use ARs and SMGs to get, or ARs as SMGs, because it's got damage, it's got a good damage range, it's got a, a good time to kill. But an, an, an SMG as an AR doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem like it should do much damage at range. This thing absolutely slaps. If you guys haven't tried this out before and you want to just try it out just for a bit of fun, even if it's not going to be your main gun, go and give it a go. It's so crazy how this works. Like, it's actually an AR build SMG that does the damage that an AR would do. And I just recommend you give this a go. It's a bit crazy. Obviously, like I said, you've got the one before, which is the SMG build for the Milano. You've got this AR build, and it just brings a lot of variety to the Milano. It's very crazy how you can actually build an SMG out as an AR kind of mental to me because it doesn't seem like it should work in any sort of way but it does it's very good and i definitely recommend you guys give this a go so they are all the best class ups in warzone season 4 right now guys that is the meta for season 4 of warzone right now every single gun that is the best gun in the game give you guys the better advantage on your opponent hopefully win some more gunfights get better kills get more wins and just genuinely start improving at the game Hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please just smash a big thumbs up as it does help me out, guys. It really, really does help me out. If you want to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on, please make sure you go ahead and do that as it really helps me out. We're trying to hit 11k subs, so if you can help us with that, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comments below. And like I said before, if you've got any other builds you think I should try, let me know which gun with what attachments in the comments below. If you want to watch me on Twitch, where we stream pretty much every single day, check out my social medias or my other YouTube channels. My links will all be in the description. I appreciate you guys watching all the end. We'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.